train at the tree today because after training here once before, um, we found that there was like there's quite a lot to do, and it's been so long since we've been here, and we've gained plenty of experience since. In fact, we felt that we could uh, find a lot more, which from the footage you can see that we have. There's a lot of opportunities for precisions, underbars, loads of combinations, and it's like the perfect example of a spot that's at first might not seem to offer that much, but as you spend more time there, the more advanced your parkour vision becomes, and you'll find that there is a lot more, a lot more to do. I feel like the benefits of training in a spot like this is that it really adapts your sense of touch and spatial awareness. Um, not so much the space of the tree and moving through it, but knowing where your body is when you're moving and slowly gaining um, a better sense so that you can move uh, faster and more efficiently. Just to explain, Will, you know, the process that goes into you know these little routes that we do. I think firstly it's a case of just getting to grips, getting to know the tree and just as a beginner would do or could do, just moving through the tree, foot placement, hand placement just to start with and then start start looking for like individual movements like vaults and precisions, repeat, repeat one precision so many times that you've got it just the same process with the vaults. And, um, and any other individual movements and then it's a case of putting them together like a jigsaw just fitting them all together two or three movements three or four movements so you've got a nice little root and, and perhaps drill that root as well then to, to get it as smooth as possible 